There's been a lot of speculation about what's going to happen with this eclipse on the 8th of April, so I've been forced to talk about it. Hi, this is Everyday Prepper. Welcome to the channel. I'm making this very brief video um, just to give you some thoughts on what's happening with this eclipse coming up on the 8th. I went on a few Prepper channels just recently, um, just browsing, and these are Prepper channels that I respect and uh, who don't normally go along with all the fear mongering and everything else. However, something seems to have gone horribly wrong uh, for some of these guys. I went on a couple of these channels just to look at uh, what they were talking about with regards to this uh, eclipse coming up. You know, and eclipses, they, they happen all the time. You know, um, every few years uh, around the world, various parts of the world get an eclipse. Now, I, I remember the eclipse in uh, late 90s uh, when I was living up in Biggin Hill. And it was, a, I think it was a total eclipse in the UK. And it was one of the one of the best ones we've had. It was absolutely amazing. I was driving and uh, literally people just pulled over to the side of the road the um, the whole sky kind of went like a like a, a pinky purple um, pretty dark everyone just got out of their cars and was just staring uh, at the sky and all the birds went quiet as they do because it was like dusk you know it was almost like birdie bedtime so uh, yeah it was a really strange experience but uh, some of the things that are being said and you know I'm going to read some of these out um, you know not to quote specifically what people have said but just to summarize so first of all uh, one of the concerns that keeps being talked about is that NASA is on their website is talking about citizen science and one of these preppers that I, I, I know and love you know have been watching for a long time now um, is really concerned by this and didn't understand what citizen science was well citizen science has been going around for years and uh, it started off or I think um, it's quite common with schools and universities and uh, getting the kids involved and, and that kind of stuff I've been involved in citizen science and that is where uh, you uh, count birds in your back garden through uh, for a designated period of time. It all helps with science data. So, you know, that's basically essentially what citizen science is. And on the NASA website, they're just asking to uh, get people to maybe record what animals sound like during, a, during an eclipse because it, their behaviours do change uh, for obvious reasons. Um, but no, no, no. Apparently, this is evidence that NASA um, are covering something up that they know and we don't. And, uh, you know, I just, why? Why even go there? So here's some other things that apparently are going to happen or could happen during this eclipse. We've got um, CERN, the um, Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. It's already fired up and uh, it's, um, it's about to smash some uh, uh, particles together. Uh, and so what they do is they get them up to speed and um, power them up to very very close to the speed of light and then they collide them together and then they record basically what happens and any new new particles that come out could be a potential new discovery and that's what they did with the Higgs boson for instance and so they're apparently going to I can't find any evidence either way of this but they're apparently going to smash the particles together on the 8th which is the same day as the eclipse so there's been talk now of demons coming out of CERN uh, because of the of all of this and uh, another thing they're talking about there's been lots of talk about a sacrificial heifer, uh, which is uh, uh, some kind of religious thing. It goes from the Bible, uh, and uh, the uh, you know the, the, the problems this will cause. I, I, I don't. I'm not religious. I don't. I don't really get that. Uh, I don't get how how an eclipse is even related to that. The arrival of beings during the darkness of the eclipse. Uh, the eclipse will break the simulation. Now, you know, I've explored the simulation theory and uh, there's quite a lot of evidence for it. There's quite a lot of evidence against it that we're all living in a simulation. You know, there's, there's not really any way to kind of prove it. A little bit like religion, really. Um, but the, the eclipse will break the simulation? No. Eclipses happen all the time. Uh, I know we've also had the awful uh, earthquake in Taiwan just this morning, which... Um, you know, only a very small number of people were actually killed. But when you see the footage coming out and the, the way the buildings have gone down, uh, you know, there, um, there's a lot of people injured. Um, but uh, yeah, one of the one of the biggest earthquakes they've had in quite some time, apparently. And uh, you know, there's people talking about that being due to planetary alignments and uh, all leading up to the eclipse. No, it's completely separate. It's got nothing to do with planetary alignments. Earthquakes happen all over the world because of something completely separate to to the moon uh, getting in the way of the sun. 
So just to end, really, you know, religion always has something to say about events like this. And, uh, you know, I, I take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, all I would suggest as a prepper uh, in the UK, maybe have some slightly increased situational awareness than you would normally have, which uh, in this day and age is probably quite heightened anyway, um, because of the actions, potential actions of people. Uh, nothing to do with the event of the moon blocking the sun for four minutes. You know, maybe fill up your car uh, with fuel just in case uh, people panic and then go out and panic by and there's a fuel shortage and you need to get to work. So just to wrap this up, let me give you my opinion on what's actually going to happen uh, on the 8th. That's it. Settled. Mm -hmm.